to Atlanta and Steve Harrigan for the fallout for today. Steve. That's right, Bill. Both officers had until 6 p.m. to turn themselves into police, and now both have done so. Earlier this morning, it was the officer who did not fire a shot, Devin Brosnan. He turned himself in earlier this morning. He was in the police station for about an hour, and then he was set loose on bond. Garrett Rolf, the man with the more serious charges, 11 charges, including felony murder, he is still in the police station at this time. It's not clear whether there will be any agreement on bond or not. Of course, it all went down Friday night at a Wendy's about 10.30 p.m. When those two officers were called to the scene, they, uh, Brooks failed the sobriety test. He fought with the two police officers. He stole a taser. He fired the taser at the officers and tried to flee before being shot twice in the back. The other developing story here is a no-show by police. Last night, a number of Atlanta police officers did not show up for their shift, in part in protest due to the murder charge against their fellow officer, their former officer at this point. It's not clear how many officers did not show up. The Atlanta PD issuing an unusual tweet saying they are still able to respond to 911 calls. It's not clear whether that police protest over the charge of murder will continue into tonight. Bill, back to Very you. Very intriguing. Steve Harrigan, thank you.